What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing Unboxamania 47. guys unbox a mania 47 can't believe we're all made 50 of these things <sighs> at least five figures at a time some we did like upwards of 12 figures i mean that's a lot of figures that we've unboxed in these unbox -a mania videos and if you're new to the channel basically what it is is i have a tote full of mint on card figures behind me i blindly reach back pull one out we unbox it it's all random i have tons of totes to go through right now we do five figures at a time unbox them review them talk about them and it's a lot of fun and it is brought to you by my book the ultimate wrestling figure checklist available now on amazon.com it features a forward by matt cardona photography by the aew jazzwares photographer matthew goldberg 500 plus pages, full color, black and white, paperback and hardcover, all available. Four versions for you to choose from, including a Kindle, that's five. Uh, keep track of what you have, what you want, and what you need with the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. Now, it's time to get into it. We're gonna reach back and we are going to unbox something. First up, I can already tell it's a basic. It is Elias, who has recently returned to WWE television from series 125, which features The Rock, Jeff Hardy, Ember Moon, and Isaiah Swerve Scott, who was the chase his first time in the line, and he's now a star in AEW, feuding with Rick with uh, Keith Lee and aligned with Rick Ross. He was the chase in, in this set. Elias, however, was not, but I think this is a great figure, which is why I picked it up. There's a picture of Elias right there. I'm wondering if we're ever gonna get Ezekiel. Very, very short-lived, but I think that a lot of people enjoyed that, that angle, but it couldn't go on forever, right? But the reason I wanted this figure is I thought that this was an excellent, excellent base. So um, he's got his jeans on, the jeans mold with the short boots. Belt, I love the color on the jeans. It's a great, they nailed the color of jeans in my opinion. He's got the wrist, uh, the wrist bandanas. I can't tell if these are the ones that they used for Luke Harper or not, right from looking at them without having it to compare, but they do look similar. I could be completely wrong. Um, one's black and white, one's blue and white. He's got on his blue tank top, horrible deco on the back. It's very, very, very spotty. And there's holes in the print on the cover. It's got the cover of his album, which is the main reason I want it. I thought that was so cool. Elias Universal Truth and the star of it, an excellent head scan on Elias. Look at that beard. Look at that top knot on the long hair. He's jacked as ever as um, Elias really is. Just a, a really cool character in my opinion and a super talented guy. The legs look super skinny, but they're like the skin tight jeans, so I think it works. I think this is a great basic. Series 125, Elias. I don't think I have an Elias on display in my room, so maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one. Put it in there. All right, let's see what else we got. What's this? Next up, we have an Elite Survivor Series, Drew McIntyre. This is from the set that featured Kane, Samoa Joe, John Morrison, and of course, Drew McIntyre. Um, he's got the raw shirt, the alternate head. It says from Air Scotland, 265 pounds, six feet, five inches, WWE champion, intercontinental champion, raw tag team champion, the Scottish psychopath was the first superstar drafted to the victorious team raw in 2018 Survivor Series. And I think that this is a 2020 elite. So this is not from last year, the year before. And there he is on the, on the side, wearing the shirt with the jacket over. It's a shame we didn't get the entrance coat, uh, coat over it, but it is what it is. 
Now this one, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably toting this up because I have so many Drew McIntyres. I like having them all, don't get me wrong, but I only want to display one. And this was super cheap at ringside. So he's got the raw, okay, it's sleeveless. I wasn't sure if it was a t-shirt or not. The head and we have the hands here. So, I've said it before with Drew McIntyre figures, I like the open hands on his. I don't know why, but I, I think I have them on all of his figures that come with the interchangeable hands. I like the open hands. He's got his black trunks with the crosses on each side. On the back, it's got the crest with McIntyre underneath it. Plain black knee pads, plain black boots, large wrist tape, painted chest hair, and this head that we've gotten a thousand times, right? So I'm going to, wow, it's hard. This head was like deep down on the neck. Like literally couldn't even get under it. Um, I prefer this Scottish psychopath head with the hair in front. I just think it's cool. I always did. Is that on? I think it's on. It's just hard to tell because the other one was so deep down and this one's not. And he has the cloth goods raw shirt, which we are going to put on. Because I mean, that's what makes this figure different, right? He's got the raw shirt that he wore for the Survivor Series. Lift up his hair. I mean, it's cool, but I, I can't imagine anybody who has a bunch of McIntyre is gonna put this one on display, at least not with the, the raw shirt, but still a nice addition nonetheless. Do another one. Ooh, another elite. Oh my God, another Drew McIntyre from series 83. This one comes with the entrance jacket, which I'm pretty sure is what he wore over this. Uh, this is 83, uh, features Drew McIntyre, Dusty Rhodes, King Corbin, Sasha Banks, and Edge, who was the chase. And it also had the collector's edition, Michael P.S. Hayes. From Air Scotland, 265 pounds, 6 feet 5 inches, WWE Champion, Raw Tag Team Champion, Intercontinental Champion, the Celtic Colossus, uh, challenged Brock Lesnar to a fight at WrestleMania 36 for the WWE Championship, and finally proved why he was anointed the chosen one. And there he is on the front, side different picture. But that's the same one that's on the back. So. I liked these boxes for this era of the Elite packaging. But I think my favorite is the Big Blues from 2014, I think it was. Unfortunate that we got to unbox two McIntyres, but I wanted to look at them and see if the gear is similar. Luckily, it's different. Oh, this foot's stuck. All right. So it's got the smiling baby face head skin, long hair in the back, a little bit draped over the shoulder, the black trunks, black knee pads, black boots, black wrist tape. Instead of the Celtic crosses on the front, he's got two swords crossing over on the back. It's got a sword through a skull. It's the Bro Brock Lesnar skull, which is pretty cool. Makes this one of the cooler um, Drew McIntyre trunks that I think uh, as far as um, figures goes. He's got this awesome entrance jacket, which I'm pretty sure looking at it is the exact one that he wore at Survivor Series that he would wear over the shirt, but we're not gonna do that. Um, so it's got a lot of detail on it, a lot of molding. You can see all of the zippers and the grommets. Very, very cool. Nice jacket. 
I love the detail on the zipper though. It lines up perfectly. But let's be honest, it doesn't look as good as my hand as it does on Drew. Super tight too, wow. Probably one of the tightest rubber goods, uh, hard good jackets that they've done. It's super tight to his body, man. Looks great on the figure though. It really does. Look at that. So we got two Drew McIntyres. Please, Lord, do not let me pull another Drew McIntyre. Nothing against Drew, but we want to look at some other stuff. And of course, it comes with the open hands, like I said. So you can do the pose, but we already got it over here. So I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to move into the next thing. All right, another Series 83 figure. This is um, Edge. This is the standard edition. He comes with the Edge shirt, all of his tattoos, rock and roll hands. There's Edge on the front. Uh, on the side, there he is wearing his entrance gear. And this set featured Edge, which is the chase, as I said. Drew McIntyre, Dusty Rhodes, King Corbin, Sasha Banks. Um, from Toronto, Canada, 241 pounds, 6 feet 5 inches, WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, Hall of Fame inductee, the ultimate opportunist, wanted to prove that his WrestleMania 36 victory over Randy Orton wasn't a fluke in the greatest wrestling match ever. I've wanted to open this edge for a while, actually. I remember I hated when Edge announced he was returning. I was a big fan of him retiring, not because I don't like Edge, I love Edge. I just, um, I'm a, I, when somebody retires, I don't like when they come back and back and back and back. And I thought that he, he, you know, he finished on top, finishes the world heavyweight champion. And to me, he had the most storied career in my opinion and still does. And I don't think he needed to come back to, I don't make anything better or prove anything. Uh, to me, I always looked at Edge's careers as one of the best of all time when you think of the, of the fact that he was voted most likely to become WWE champion in his senior high school yearbook, and he became that. Um, you know, to be at WrestleMania wearing a Hulk Hogan t-shirt, and he goes on to be a tag team champion with Hulk Hogan. He held every title. Um, so, like, there was, to me, that I didn't need him to prove anything else. But, looking at this figure, I'm glad he came back, because this is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, he's got, like, this, like, maroon color and the gray, but the maroon boots have a skull with the rock hands coming out of it. His knee pads have the R, rated R symbol. His tights have the R right on the front. On the side, it's got the Edge logo with the skull with the uh, rock hands coming out with the R. Just very, very toyetic and a beautiful design. All of his tattoos are very colorful. His maroon colored knee, uh, elbow pads cover them a little bit, so we're gonna knock them down. Look at the color on that, man. His wrist tape is multicolored. Great looking modern day edge head scan. They didn't not they didn't really nail his old ones in my opinion. It's a tight head, man. I don't wanna break it. It's not worth it, so I'm just gonna put the shirt on. That has the same logo on it. The roses, I'll show you once I get it on. It's got the roses with the skull, rock hands, edge logo, rated R logo. I mean, it's all on there, you know? It's loaded with, as I say, information when it comes to logos. It's loaded with information that you have to dissect. I like that. Loaded with meaning. off there we go yeah he looks awesome with the with the shirt on man i love the the deco on the shirt the print looks great it's super smooth but pops very cool figure 
Series 83 Edge, and we will do one more. All right, we have Royal Rumble, Titus O'Neil. This set featured Umaga, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ultimate Warrior, and Titus O'Neil, obviously. From Live Oak, Florida, 270 pounds, six feet, six inches, WWE Tag Team Champion, 24 seven champion. In one of the most unforgettable moments in Royal Rumble history, Titus Worldwide took a Titus World slide when running into the ring. Now this is from the greatest Royal Rumble overseas. Uh, his first and only elite. There he is on the side, there he is. And on the back they have him running in, which I think is really cool that they included that. So if you're, you're unaware, you gotta look it up. He trips and literally misses, bashing his brains in on a cross beam and slides under the ring. I mean, they, they replayed it so many times. Uh, you know, commentators are cracking up because it was just hard not to. And Titus is a good sport, so he played along after the fact. And it's always good when someone's able to laugh at themselves. So he's got his, um, his hands where he does his symbol, which I think is really cool. Great stance for it. He's got his whistle, you know, for the, that he used to do when he was the primetime players and in his theme song. It's got a picture of, you know, a silhouette of him doing his, his sign on the front of his trunks, a globe with Titus on it, Titus Worldwide. It's got cloth good shirt. Put his shirt on. I, it's a pretty cool figure, to be honest with you. I've had this forever since it came out. And just never, the arms are huge for the shirt. Jesus. And Titus does have some big arms, but man, it's hard to fit it on him. Are these the smallest sleeves ever on an elite shirt? I can't even get the shirt on. The arms are jacked. They made the sleeves way too small. Great head scan on it. Gonna put his whistle on. Look at that. Titus World Slide, man. Very cool. So today we unboxed the Elias, two Drew McIntyres, 83 Edge, and the Royal Rumble, Titus O'Neil. Comment below, let me know your favorite figure that we unboxed. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please help us grow this channel. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Figio and pick up a shirt. Go to Figio. Go to the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist on Amazon. Pick up your copy and go to www.whatheal.com. Join there and you will get $15 towards your first purchase. Whatever you want to get. If you want to get a $10 figure, you get it for free. $15 figure, you get it for free. Buy a $20 figure, it only costs you 5 bucks. Free, 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 15 bucks just for signing up at my link. Go to WhatHeal.com. Com. And we will see you next time. Take it easy. Thank you for joining us on Unboxing Mania 47. Peace, guys. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500-plus page guide to over 50 years of wrestling figure collecting, featuring over 2,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands in wrestling history. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, as well as mint on card and loose value. With a forward by professional wrestler Matt Cardona and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist is a must-have for collectors. Premium full color and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in the description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.